So I expect that when you were working at GCSE, um, whenever you were doing trigonometry, it's likely that you would have heard the words, make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. This is to make sure that you are not in radians on your calculator. So radians are another way of measuring angles. We have degrees and radians. And in many cases, from here on out, radians are much easier to work with than degrees. So, what is a radian? How is it explained? Well, we know that degree is a measure of this angle, and we split up the circle into 360 degrees. Let's look at it another way. Let's say, well, that is of length r, that's the radius of the circle, and so that is also of length r. So there is going to be a point where the length around the outside of the circle also is r. So at that angle, where it reaches that length being the same as the radius, let's call that one radian. And instead of using a degree symbol little circle, we use a c. Okay, so one radian, or one rad. You could write it as one rad. Okay, so that's one radian. Now, if you continue this all the way around, if you go right, well, that if that's one radian, then um, this is two radians, and then that's three radians, and so on, right? And then four, and then five, and then you get to a point where you go, right, well, how many of these fit into the whole circle? In actual fact, you can fit mm, six and a bit into the circle, okay? So that six and a bit is actually two pi. You can fit this into the circle two pi times. So in actual fact, all the way around this circle, will be 2 pi r. Well, actually, you've seen that before, because that's just the circumference of the circle. So, the concept is that you could fit this segment into the circle 6 point something times. So, if we have 2 times pi, so 6.28 times. So, it's exactly 2 pi times. So, if the whole way round is 2 pi radians, then you're pretty much saying that 2 pi radians well, is the same as 360 degrees. So if that's true, then pi radians would be 180 degrees. So that 90 degrees would be pi over 2 radians. So 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians, dividing both sides by 2 each time. If I wanted 30 degrees, well that's 90 degrees divided by 3, so pi over 2 divided by 3, that's pi over 6. So 1 degree would be 2 pi over 360, or pi over 180. Okay, radians. So this is the radians measure, and this is the degrees measure. So if I wanted one radian, how many degrees is that? Then it's 360 divided by 2 pi. So if we do that, 360 divided by 2 pi, well, that's 57.295. So 57.3 degrees, effectively to one decimal place. So, there is a direct conversion between radians and degrees, but the radians are much nicer to work with um, because it allows us to not have to go into decimals so much. But it is just another form of measurement of an angle, okay? So don't worry too much about it. Um, in the sense that it's not too complicated, 
really what you must remember is that 2 pi is 360 degrees and therefore you from that you can work out any conversion that you want and any conversion that you need. So just make sure you remember that one because that's really important.